OmniTouch uses a depth camera driven, template matching and clustering approach for multi-touch finger tracking on everyday surfaces, including walls, doors, tables, notepads, books, and even one's own body. First, we take a depth map of a scene and cull values that lie outside of one arm's length. This isolates the arms, objects we might be holding, or large surfaces we are standing near, such as walls. We then compute the depth derivative in the x and y axes using a sliding 5 by 5 pixel window. We then iterate over this derivative image, looking for vertical slices of cylinder-like objects. This is similar to template matching, but with some simple dynamic parameters. Put simply, for a column of pixels to be a candidate finger slice, it must show a steep positive derivative, followed by a region of relative smoothness, and finally closed by a steep negative derivative. To isolate fingers, candidate slices must be between 5 and 25 millimeters in length. All other slices are discarded. Once all candidate finger slices are identified, we then greedily merge proximate slices into contiguous paths, shown here in red. Paths that are shorter or longer than probable fingers, again in real-world units, are discarded. As can be seen, the output resembles a skeletal model of the fingers. Like other computer vision techniques, fingers that are occluded are not detected. Usefully, this means fingers that are tucked in are not tracked for input. To detect clicking, we do a bounded flood fill operation starting at the fingertip, using a depth delta tolerance of roughly one centimeter. Typically, the flood fill expands to encompass the finger. However, when a finger is touching an object, the fill operation floods out onto the contacting surface as well. We detect this as a finger click.